Hi guys, this is another video. I've got this Sony MHC2600. Um, previously had a problem with the uh, cassette decks, which I've managed to resolve. Uh, as mentioned, there's a problem with the CD player. It's um, dead, it doesn't come on at all. See the buttons there, you can't eject to anything and there's no illumination on the panel. So I'm gonna have a look at that today. Um, it's separate, so here you can see me just um, removing the top sections. And what I've got to do is get inside this CD player and have a look at it. You can see me just undoing the screws and uh, just removing the cover here. And uh, funny enough, there's a CD inside. Here, yeah, there's a CD this inside, old school. Okay. So I just swing the camera around and show you here what I found. You see this uh, PCB here? Uh, looks like some kind of split. Could put a bit of light on it. You see there? I'm just freeze frame that you can get a close up. You see, there's some kind of spillage. Uh, I'm not sure if it's from the capacitor itself, but uh, I'm gonna have to have a look at that. You see, it's gone all the way around here and it's on the underside as well. So, um, what I'm gonna do is remove the um, PCB. I've obviously disconnected the power and I've just got to remove this PCB and just check the underside. I can't see anywhere where it's spillage has got inside, so more than likely. It's Probably the capacitor, and probably need changing, need replacing. But um, like I said, I've just got to remove the circuit board. I've undone all the screws, I'm lifting it out there. And I'll just move the rest of this section out of the way. Just put it on this tissue, you can see here. This, yes, the spillage is on both sides. Let me show you there, that's the bottom. A little bit of leakage on there as well. And uh, so what I'm gonna do is uh, clean it off. I'm gonna use this spray cleaner, brain clutch cleaner, just to get rid of this fluid, whatever it is, liquid, whatever it is, because it's obviously short in the uh, resistors. And um, units warm, when powered on bottom, as you can see before, there's no power. So here you can see, I've sprayed it, it's broken most of the liquid down. So um, I'm just uh, giving it a, um, a brush. And here you can see the liquid coming off there. Okay, I've got it all clean now, both sides, and dried off. So it's just a matter of reinserting the PCB and reconnecting the connections for it also. And uh, here you can see me just putting the power supply back in and uh, good news it's uh, powered on straight away you can see there the CD spinning and I've got a display on the front panel which is good so I've just got to um, as you can see the eject works also so I've just got to put it back into put the cover back on and give it a try on the unit and as you can see there it's working fine, CD's playing fine, so that's a good fix. So with that, thanks for watching once again, please subscribe.